What's up good people, Mark Holmes here and as always I want to thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report as well as everything that is Joe Boo. You know I got my day job and everybody who's been getting their butcher blocks, man, everybody loves them. Oh my god, this is so exciting because, you know, I am the the pat on the back, I'm, I'm the attaboy guy. I love it when people tell me how much they love what they get. You know, when, when I get a little bit of praise, it makes me want to work that much harder. See, I'm not one of those kind of people that you can cuss me out and everything else and I get motivated. I get motivated by a little bit of praise and hey, you're doing a good job. And so I want to get more of that. Apparently, Jerry Jones doesn't um, go into that. <clears throat> His thing is, let me beat you down and make you perform, you know. Uh, that don't work for me. It don't work for me. A little bit of praise goes a long freaking way. But, um, yeah, it's been another good day because I was here in it. And any day that I'm still here is a good day. So, I got a good laugh and tickle out of this. But in all seriousness, there's so many people that, 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 that hate Dak. I, I get you. I, you hate Dak and Dak's a waste of, Paid him too much money. He's a garbage-ass quarterback and this, that, and the other. The funny thing is, I remember about a week or so ago, a guy said, had we not paid that garbage-ass quarterback, we could have fixed the team. And I said, you do know that Dak's cap hit last year was only $17 million, right? This year, with the restructure, it's only going to be $18 million because they've got it set up in there with triggers that they can reduce and get more money from. So in the grand scheme of things, it's not as much as you think. Yes, the average per year is $40 million, but it may never actually see $40 million as a cap hit, but be that as it may, be that as it may, I want you to understand that the Eagles paid $35 million for Carson Wentz to go by. That's what the Eagles paid just to get rid of them in dead money. You take what Dak Prescott was paid last year on his cap number and what he's going to get paid on this year on his cap number, guess what? The Cowboys will pay Dak Prescott, as far as the cap goes, $35 million for two years, whereas the Eagles paid $35 million for Carson Wentz to leave. I know that, that that's over some of you guys' head. You still will say 50 cents was too much. I get that. That's cool. That's cool. But here's where it's funny, because what's going to happen is, in the course of the next year or two, Dak Prescott's number in comparison to others, is going to drop like a rock. <sighs> Josh McDaniels. This is where it's always funny because it seems like Bill Belichick disciples, <laughs> they don't usually do too good. Now, we he does have Mike Vrabel, who is coach of the year, but you look at that and say, Y'all were the number one seed, and you lost the first round at home. Hmm. Okay. Okay. I got you. But Mike Vrabel is probably the best of the best of the disciples. Most of them don't do real well, and this is Josh McDaniels' second go-round. Now, Josh McDaniels, unlike John Gruden, who you never were sure if John Gruden really was into Derek Carr. Josh McDaniels has already said it's a priority to re-sign Derek Carr. And the number being floated around is $40 million. Now, I know Cowboy Dak Prescott haters will say, well, I'd pay him $40 million. He deserves it. Dak don't. If Derek Carr is worth $40 million, Derek Carr, then what is, like, say, Lamar Jackson going to be worth? 
thing about Lamar Jackson, though, is I, for one, wonder how long he'll be able to do what he's doing as far as his legs. You notice that this year you're seeing him having a little more breaking down and injuries. I think that that's going to become more the norm as opposed to the exception because I don't know how much of that abuse your body could take. But be that as it may, he is an MVP player. And he has been proven where team wins with him. He's definitely going to get paid. He's already saw what Josh Allen's were. Next couple of years, as some of these guys get paid, guess what? That quarterback compensation is going to go through the roof. And then you're going to have guys like Aaron Rodgers. I'm sure Aaron Rodgers might be convinced to stay in Green Bay for the right price. So I can guarantee you that Aaron Rodgers' number is going to go up. And I'm betting that Russell Wilson, that they're going to need some cap room in Seattle, that they'll probably end up redoing his contract. Because see, here's what you can do. And this is where you're being told something, but you don't get the whole picture. See, Skip Bayless would always say, that $75 million quarterback. Yeah, that's the signing bonus. That's the guaranteed money. A lot of that is prorated for the life of the contract. And to essence, it averages out to $40 million, but there's ways of hiding the money. And that's why this cap number was only 17 last year and 18 this year. Because there's creative ways to hide what you're actually paying. In essence, you are sold he is a $40 million quarterback. He got $75 million this year. But the only thing that really matters is what the cap number is because that's what prevents you from getting other players. And $17 million for a quarterback is cheap. It's cheap. Not to mention the fact that his first three years, he only made $680,000 a year, and his fourth year, he only made two. So the argument of, well, if we had only not paid Dak, we could have built a team. You had four years of not paying Dak. That's when the team should have been already a juggernaut. But hey, what do I know? All I do know is, with the NFL adding an extra week to the season, and that extra week to the season, having the Super Bowl on the 13th of February, when it used to be kind of like, you know, early February, sometimes the 2nd and 3rd. Hell, sometimes it used to be in January. In fact, yeah, in January. We're getting closer to spring. In fact, it's like 65 degrees today. In fact, I'm out here in shorts and no socks on because it's still like 50-some degrees. Tomorrow's supposed to be 68 it's going to rain in the afternoon, but I'll take that 68. So spring is not very far away. And uh, FYI, the NFL league year, one month away. One month away from now. The Dallas Cowboys have to be under the cap. And we'll be talking about free agency. Yeah. I guess it's not so bad after all that the season's over because it's about to begin again. That being said, I'm going to get ready to go in here. I'm going to get ready to go to bed, get me some sleep. I'm sure I'll be awake in about three hours. The ketosis um, I'm in, and I'm deep in ketosis. Um, it's been working. Down 11 pounds. Um, and what I'm going to be doing is... Uh, if you want to join in, you know, check out Cooking and Tailgating with Joe Boo. That's my cooking channel, and I'm doing a daily log of what I'm doing as far as keto goes. I'm not an expert, you know. I'm not trying to pretend that I know everything. I'm telling you what I'm doing right now and what it's doing, how it's working. Um, fortunately, my knees have gotten better, and I'm beginning to walk again. And so, um, if you have my fitness pal app. I'm creating a group on my fitness pal 
so that way we can kind of encourage each other if you go walking and running and all that stuff um, and it'll also help us keep track of how our weight loss is going and things because um, I'm determined to get myself in shape because well, let's face it um, I want to live to see the Cowboys win another Super Bowl <laughs> I don't know how long that's going to be, so I got to make sure I live as long as I can. And so, if you want to join me, I'll get a link for it. My wife's actually working on setting up the group now. And uh, we can all support each other. Because in the end, that's what we're all here for. So, I will see you good people, God willing, tomorrow. Peace.